few years. The Almighty one day you would, you said that the Almighty was a man that wanted God to take him and mold him and make him into what God would have him to be. And that's what we ought to want. We ought to want that more than anyone here. I believe with all my soul there's a power that we can have if we are willing to pay the price for it. If we want it. If we're willing to stay with God, stay on our knees if it's necessary till it comes. You said, preacher, what kind of <coughs> I'm an old fashioned Baptist preacher from the top of the bottom. Yeah. Amen. They wouldn't have me nowhere else. Amen. And I believe what this precious book has to say. Sure. You know nothing. The mother's not Christ and crucified. You get to some place in the place you think you're so smart that you know everything. I'm telling you, come to the place that you don't know nothing as you Amen. ought to know. Amen. Amen. Let's think about it. God bless. Amen. Christ and him crucified. When I think about it, he died on that cross to keep me out of hell. Yes. Yes, sir. You say, preacher, you mean to tell me you preach on hell? Yes, I do. I've been branded as a hell fire brand song preacher. They branded me there. I backed into the church place once and it was two black fellas standing up, standing up on the platform there and said, Well, when they switched sword to give them some stuff, and they turned and they looked and they said, There's hell fire brimstone. <laughs> I hear them say that when I walk into the mission. We go again tonight. Brother, I believe the old passion, Holy Ghost preaching. That's what we need today more than anything else. Holy Ghost preaching. You listen to me? Yes, sir. Not man made preaching, but the Holy Ghost preaching. Yes, sir. That's what we need more than anything else. And God is not short of his power. He has power to give it. We can have it. I know what I preach, I'll give out the next day. But I want to give God the very best I have. Amen. Give more of it. I don't care how tired that I am. Yeah. I want to give my all of it. The very best that I have. Amen. 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 He deserves it, folks. Yes, he does. Yes. He deserves it, folks. Yes. Every yes. last one of us in this room would have died and gone to hell. Amen. Have not Jesus paid a price on time. Amen. Amen. I know down in Florida most of the time, preacher won't preach on hell. They said I'll run people off. We need to know about it anyhow. Yes, sir. Amen. You don't tell them how they're going to know. Right. Preacher, we don't tell people how they're going to know. Amen. God expects us to tell them. Amen. God expects it. It's required of them. And we want the blessing and power of God on our life. we got to do it. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I kept us thinking about what Brother Gother said, go and tell. Go and tell. I'm looking for us. Looking forward to the next Sunday night. Let's walk back into that mission, Brother Gotham, and try to get some of those men saved. Hey. Yeah. There's a young man preaching for me in the prison last night. And as we come closer to the service, I begin to pray, God bless that young man. Amen. Bless him as he preaches. Get him saved. The most important thing that I want to see him saved is see people saved. Hey. Mark, that's number one. That's number one on the list. Amen. That should be on number one on your mind. Right. Yes, There's more to it than just being a, a Christian. There's more to it than just being saved. Amen. Sure. We need to do a work for God. Amen. Amen. I was going to use a verse in the scripture that I had marked. God won't forget our labor of love. He won't forget it. Amen. God won't forget it. He's not, he's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. Amen. I know we can never pay for what it costs Jesus. That we can realize what it costs him on the cross. I think we'll change our life and make it different to what has ever happened. I think we will love him more than we ever love in our life. Can you and I imagine as we look at that old cross when those nails were driven through it, through his hands and through his feet, and the letter shut the spirit in his side when that holy, sinless, perfect blood. I'm glad it's redeemed, redeeming blood. I'm glad it's a blood that never, never loses its power. Amen. It never will. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that run down that old rugged cross for you and I to keep us out of that pit called hell. Yes, sir. I praise God for it. I love him this morning for it. I don't 
feel worthy to preach. When God began to deal with me about preaching, I said, God, get yourself a college boy. Leave me alone. I'm too ignorant. I'm too learned. I thought I was going to die. One night about one o'clock, I had to get off the job. I couldn't work. I could not work. Superintendent said, Henry, go home, get you, and, and get get some rest and get things right, and then come back to work. But no, no way get any rest until I surrendered about one o'clock. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was doing. And I said, God, I'll preach, but you'll have to help me. That person left. I went back to work. And I went out preaching. My dad bought me some PA system, PA system loudspeakers on my car. And I went preaching. I went up with Virginia with those things on back of my car. Even the, even the mayor had put me in jail for preaching on the street down there. <laughs> Tried to say, uh, moving less than five miles an hour to preach. Well, that was all right. I put the treasure of the church on the stand wheel. I said, go down to the jail, make a U-turn. Go down to the court place, a show they was, and make a U-turn. People on both sides of the street kept preaching. Amen. I was told that I won't go up that mountain one day with those PA, PA system, those horns wide open, preached all over them Saturday. That fellas down there was advertising <laughs> merchandise with their horns. We locked horns down there. I would heard that a mayor said, you lock up that tree. Told the cop, you lock him up. And he said, if you want him locked up, you lock him up. I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'll tell you, brother, when you have the power of God on your life, you ain't praying to the devil, you ain't praying to nobody. Amen. It takes the power of God for you to do that. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's what we need. Paul talked about the power that we need. 